Good evening. Thought we'd do a video, another video on reality trans surfing. So I think it's uh, new for a lot of people and as I talk to more folks about it, it's like, never heard of it. So what's it all about, honey? So reality trans surfing, uh, for example, you know, know what you want, not what you don't want. So for example, if you say, I don't want another bad relationship, what the universe hears is, I want a bad relationship. So you always need to express out to the universe what you actually want, not what you don't want, because the universe only hears the want. The want and the thing. And the thing, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I like that. It's funny how that works. It's like, uh, I mean, it's hard to explain, but I think most people understand this. If mm -hmm. you're, I, I think the only way that I can best explain it is if you're always focused on something and it's, um, you know, pain of some sort, that's what you're going to get. I mean, the universe is like a mirror. Everything is mirrored back at you, right? Exactly. Um, you know, if you, if you say, you know, I don't want to be poor or I don't want to be short of cash, you're going to be poor and you're going to be short of cash. Now, on the flip side, if you say, I really want to be successful and I want to have a lot of money. That doesn't mean that, oh, bam, you know, all of a sudden I have this pile of cash. But what it sends out to the universe is that your intention is just that, to have um, a lot of cash. And then you are, you know, set your intention to make that happen. You know, and the whole boomerang, it comes back to you. And I know it sounds crazy, but it is insane how it works, yeah. right? Well, it's, 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 it's right on always. It's on the money. But, you know, part of it is you have to understand that um, all of this is already out there. I mean, reality trans surfing is all about, you know, your trans surfing. It's like surfing between realities mm -hmm. is the best way to describe it. But um, when you look at your life moving forward, you're making decisions every split second of every moment. And um, those decisions obviously take you down the path your reality. Um, you have a choice, black or white, um, you know, stop or go, uh, hot or cold. I mean, as you make these decisions, you are making a choice to take this path. Right. And that's creating your reality. Mm -hmm. But the, the beauty of reality trans surfing is it's already out there. Um, you know, if you can kind of imagine, I, I, I use this visualization, it's kind of funny, Karen and I were talking about this. Um, when I first read the book, I was thinking that um, I was on a loading dock. I don't know if you've ever been on a loading dock, but I have. Uh, back when I was a kid in high school, I worked for a grocery store and I was stocking shelves. I was a, a clerk stocking shelves, whether it be you know, the dairy products or the uh, detergents or whatever it was you'd set up and stock the aisles, but all the stuff would come in on a loading dock. So Everything was there. Yeah, yeah. A, a loading dock is a um, big cement, um, deck so to speak and there's usually like a big rubber thing on the sliced tires or whatever they are it's black and trucks back up to it but i had this vision of the loading dock and instead of looking across the parking lot i'm looking across you know the the universe it's the star filled galaxies and i see all those different light uh lives those different uh realities the different um, choices yeah the tracks that the different jeffrey so pearls out there everything's there right yeah yeah it's basically every flavor from your worst self all the way to your best self is all there. It's already happened. It's already there. Every possibility is there. And you pick one. Mm -hmm. You pick that reality and you can actually go out, down off that loading dock, out into the out into the universe and pull back a slide that says, okay, here I am at this age. Here's what I'm doing. Here's how it feels. This is where I'm living. This is who I'm with. And uh, if you think about it that way, it's pretty easy to um, you know, visualize yourself in that situation, whatever it is. Absolutely, right, right? because each each one of those options is a choice. So, um, you know, going to who you want to live with, if you're in a bad relationship, you went and plucked that out from the universe. Um, it's You're not a victim, you made that choice. Um, and on the contrary, if you went and, and are in, you know, chose somebody 
that you mesh with and you have a phenomenal relationship, again, you saw those options and you went for the option, you know, I'll take option door number one, which is going to be with somebody that I adore and they adore me and makes me happy. Door number two, um, you know, this person makes me miserable, miserable, but I can't seem to get out of this relationship. Right. Um, every choice is out there. Right. So, right. Um, you know, it's so important to not be that victim and understand that you have made that choice. So reality transurfing lets you know everything's out there and you put out what you want. And if you are finding that things aren't going well in your life, then make different choices because they're not going well in your life because you've chosen them, right? Well, may, and, and maybe I was just going to say, not not to correct you, but um, you know, someone may have not selected, um, you know, that the wrong person or selected the wrong job. Uh, they just maybe didn't make a decision and they let just the dice fall where they may. And mm -hmm. you just some people just aimlessly go out there yeah. and you know whatever comes their way is what it is. Yeah, that I, happens. I, I right? would probably disagree with you, which I don't do often in that case. Um, those options come to you. <laughs> <laughs> those <laughs> options come to you. Um, and let's say in a job and you, you still selected that job and, because you didn't right. want to have put the energy out to select the job that was going to well, make you We're happy. both saying the same thing. Right. Your inaction to choose the right one uh, allowed the wrong one to land in your lap. And, exactly. and so your point, you're, you're saying because you didn't choose the right one, mm -hmm. uh, because you did nothing, in a sense, you selected the wrong one that just landed in your lap. Right, exactly. Right. And, you know, taking that a step forward with the job, let's say you have just been let go from your job, right? Um, that is never a surprise. Whether you're let go for poor performance, listen, no one's ever let go for poor performance when they... Uh, are doing a great job, right? I guess not. Unless exactly. someone doesn't like you, that happens. Well, then, you know, insubordination. Um, or how about the companies cutting back? It's never a surprise. You know that that's happening. Companies are downsizing. It's not like, a, rarely does a company decide overnight they're going to downsize. Usually there are things. And all of these things that happen um, are blessings. And what you need to know is, yes, okay, I didn't choose to lose my job today, but you chose to stay in that job knowing that A, either you weren't performing, B, the company was gonna downsize, or C, I didn't really like that job anyway. So it's important too to know that when you've made a decision or something comes your way in reality transurfing, the beautiful thing is that you have every choice out there to make the next step, right? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, uh, you bring up a good point too. So you could be on the right path. Like you look out across all of those opportunities and you, you pick a slide that's way out there uh, in your future and you could be on the right path. And, and to your point, if you uh, company goes the wrong way, it's not your fault and you lose the job. Mm -hmm. That may be just part of the journey. I mean, right. you know, the other thing I like about trans surfing is not only can you surf from reality to rea reality, but in a sense, you're surfing on the ups and downs uh, as you move forward. And not everything is up and to the right. And not every day is going to be sure. your best day ever, although we say that all the time. It's like we, we look at it, we're grateful. And we look at each day as it's our best day ever. But my point is, you know, there are going to be days where, you know, a house burns down or somebody gets hit by a car. I mean, there are things that happen. You lose a job. I mean, whatever it is, you fill, lose fill, a loved one. Fill you in lose the a blank. pet that right. you love. Right. Right. You know, that's not going to be your your best day ever. I mean, I'll, I'll go back to, you know, it wasn't that long ago when we lost our little captain. And, um, you know, we had a lot of sad days after that. But we have been able to find some incredible blessings, not out of losing him, but out of having him, yeah, right? right. And so we were able to refocus the way that we looked at that entire um, you know, event. Instead of focusing on the loss, we are focusing on all the joy that he brought us. And when we go outside, sometimes he always had to, you know, he'd smell everything. And boy, he had it right because the air out there is so fresh. And I sometimes it. it smells like leaves. And, you know, we just got fresh snow and it smells so crisp. And um, so, 
you know, in, in these things that happen, these realities, and like Jeffrey said, everyone's not perfect, but it's all part of the journey. And you have the option to take from every experience, a happy experience or a sad experience, to take out whatever you want from it. Absolutely. Right? It's, it's, you know, I've always said your perception is your reality. You have always said that. Yeah, I mean, you know, and uh, back when I was a kid, I mean, whatever you perceive is your reality mm -hmm. at the end of the day. It's just, you know, you have two people that walk into a situation, um, you know, whether it's the, the, the weather or, you know, a group of people, you walk out mm -hmm. and it's pouring rain. Uh, some people think, oh my God, it's raining again. I'm going to get soaked. Uh, you know, I don't want this. Uh, I'm wearing this jacket. I don't want water on it. Uh, my hair, you know, someone might have just got their hair done, I guess. People still do that, I guess. Of course they do. Uh, obviously, I, 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 obviously don't. I don't. We don't. <laughs> but, but people so, do. But yeah, so you don't want to get your hair wet, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, it's terrible that it's raining. That's one perception of the reality. Right. The other one is you, know, you go out there and say, oh my God, look at this rain. It's going to be so great for the flowers and the trees. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what makes them bloom and it's going to make everything so green. I mean, there's, very, there's two ways to look at everything. Absolutely. Uh, you know, you know and, and different and angles. Right? Exactly. And, and on that rain thing, because I love a storm. My family knows I love a storm. My family loves a storm. When our girls were very, very little, um, I watched some other people in our, you know, same situation with young kids. And a lot of these young kids were so frightened of the storms. And I didn't want my kids to be frightened of something that was so natural. And so I... Uh, started this thing with them that whenever it rained, um, it was sort of a celebration and we would get candy. I know it was <laughs> probably not the right choice back then. They're older and I'm wiser. You're wiser, yes. And, um, but... I can't even believe it, you're admitting, admitting I know. to that. Well, I'm but so far from perfect. But the point is that um, I wouldn't, if I did it over again, you know, it would be that we would do something fun, you know, like dance around the house or, you know, make special artwork or d the point is, is that the rain should be a celebration. The snowstorm should, should be, be a ce celebration. Right. And so often, uh, we have a lot of people will call up. It's like, Hey, how are you? Uh, oh, it's so cold here or it's raining today or, Oh, it's sunny now, but it's going to get gloomy. And it's like, oh my gosh, you know, hello, Just, Debbie Downer. Well, different perceptions <laughs> of that reality. The reality is the the weather is X. And uh, if you, some people think it's cold, I think it's just crisp and invigorating. Right? And so that's the way you look at it, right? Exactly. And, and do we have control over the weather? Mm, Absolutely not. But we have bit. control over the way that we choose to view it. So why not choose to accept all of the beauty that mother nature gives us whatever it is right yeah absolutely so i i think um we can wrap this here because i think tomorrow we want to talk about you know how do you put this in action so once yeah. you have this mentality and you select your reality um in the trans surfing model how do you execute on that right exactly and that's really exciting because it can affect every single part of your life right. and what you want right Wishing you great health, abundant happiness, and outrageous love from the nest at Copper Yeah, Mountain. and just go ahead and click wherever that is to subscribe and yeah. click on the, the bell. So we, we drop some new uh, videos like these next few so you'll be alerted. Thanks, guys.